Tower Julian City Council holding a hearing today over one of Mayor Lori Lightfoot's plans to reduce gang violence in Chicago. Civil rights groups are protesting the mayor's plan to fine and seize gang members' property, saying it won't do anything to reduce crime. WGN's Jenna Barnes in the newsroom with details. Jenna? Yeah, Micah and Ray, those civil rights attorneys raised ethical questions about this idea. Now some aldermen are asking if it's even worth the time and money the city will have to spend to go after gang assets. The Victims Justice Ordinance would attempt to fight crime by allowing the city to file civil lawsuits against gangs and gang leaders targeting their wallets and their property bought with drug money. This is something Cook County and the federal government do alongside some criminal cases, but not all of them. So this ordinance would allow the city's lawyers to fill in the gap. We learned during the city council's public safety committee hearing this afternoon the scope of potential cases and possible money that's on the table. There are more than 500 criminal cases from the past few years that this ordinance would apply to and an estimated $1.2 million. That comes out to an average of about 2300 bucks a case the city could seize. All we are seeking to do is to return ill-gotten gains to the communities from which they've been taken. I think we really need to see more information about exactly how this is going to complement the criminal investigations that are continuing to happen at the state and federal level. Half the money recovered through this ordinance would go to victims' assistance. The other half would go to general revenue. No vote was taken today, but we'll have much more on the debate coming up at 6.30. Ray and Micah. All right, Jenna, in the newsroom, thank you.